Hello. Um, uh, last night I was up at three in the morning and I got this news that Daria Dugina, and it says here on the BBC uh, website, daughter of Putin ally killed in Moscow bomb. What happened was she was driving home in her car from a social event, some sort of a cultural festival that she had attended with her father and uh, she was supposed to be driving her father back home, but at the last moment he went with someone else. Her car exploded on a Moscow highway, uh, killing her. And so uh, we, we've got this story. Now, the BBC says the daughter of Putin ally, but uh, Dugin was not uh, Putin's ally. Uh, Dugin, Dugin was Putin's philosophical father. It's from, from Dugin that Putin got his ideas of the greater Russia and the, the difference between Russians, um, land-based people, and the West, who are sea-based people. I mean, he had this whole construction. Anyway, so uh, Dugina, who, uh, you know, nice-looking young woman, I do not condone the murder at all and as for the pain suffered by the father i really honestly wouldn't wish that on anyone and i'm very sorry for him i just have to say though that dugina was her father's daughter and uh, everything he said she said uh, twice um i believe that she said that that the ukrainians were animals and should be treated like animals she was uh, completely with him on that so I'm not saying that's a reason to uh, to kill her. I am saying, though, that that is a possible element in somebody wishing her dead. OK, and here's a nice Wikipedia picture of Dugin. You, you can see he, he looks very patriarchal, doesn't he? And uh, he's the sort of typical Russian type patriarch. And uh, Putin was... Uh, you know, very close to his ideas, found them very compatible. So here's my speculation about what might have been happening. Now, I'm, I'm putting everything on the line here. Uh, I'm putting it ahead of any particular investigation. I just I'm playing in a way a sort of game, seeing how much I might have got right. And uh, so uh, so here we are. Daria Dugina is blown up in her car. And the first question, who done it? And here we have one. Assassins were Ukrainians or Ukrainian agents, secret agents or Ukrainians living in Russia. There are plenty of those. Um, two, assassins were Russian freelancers who didn't like Dugin's influence on Putin. In both, uh, 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 OK, hang on. Uh, and three, assassins were Chechens or Georgians uh, using U the Ukrainian uh, special military operation as a cover because the Ukrainians, uh, the Chechens and the Georgians have a bone to pick with Putin over Putin's territorial incursions into their lands. And that all assumes that they were after Dugin. The fourth one is that the assassins were actually agents of Putin. I'll get to that in a minute. So who were they after? Were they after Dugin? or Daria? Well, if they were after Dugin, then that would be, uh, of course, an external assassin who don't mind, who didn't mind the collateral damage with the daughter. But if they were after Daria specifically, then uh, the weight of evidence would be on Putin because the death of Daria, the violent death of Daria, would furnish an excuse to hammer Ukraine. And the daughter was expendable, whereas the father was not. OK, so in 1B, the reason would be to get rid of Dugin and, uh, and, and with his daughter to cut off his legacy. Uh, but the second possibility would be to bind the father closer to Putin and, of course, that would have been Putin's hand in it. Now the possible outcomes, and that's that's very disturbing. Possible outcomes are that 
Putin goes deeper into hiding and isolation, he gets even more paranoid and, of course, goes for Ukraine harder. The second is that Putin will arrest a lot of most likely innocent people, but it gives him a good excuse to clear out uh, undesirable uh, elements, dissidents, um, and that sort of thing. The third uh, uh, thing is that there will be an emergency laws passed now. And then uh, there will be more control over the population and there will be conscription as well. They'll be part of the emergency laws. And that will lead to number four, a full on war. Now, the Ukrainians are be, will be blamed for the, uh, for, the, for the assassination attempt. And this is an act of war. So we have to look here, qui bono, who profits from this death? Well, the Ukrainians wouldn't profit from the death of Dugin and uh, the, the Chechens or the Georgians, more likely the Chechens might feel a certain amount of satisfaction at his death, but there's little point in it now, the job's been done. Uh, although Chechens do bear a grudge. Um, it seems to me only that Putin is the one who benefits from this because now he's in a bit of a hole. His, uh, his whole army is being blown up by the, uh, by the Ukrainians. He's lost most of his planes. He's lost most of his tanks. He's losing Crimea by the looks of things. It seems to me rather wrong that this has come at just the point where it seems that the Ukrainians are going to actually overrun Crimea and get it back. And then Crimea is behind the stranded Russian troops slightly to the northwest of them. Uh, that's, that's going to be awful. The only thing that can be done now by Putin is full on conscription and have the entire Russian people pouring over the Ukraine border. It seems to me that uh, Putin couldn't do that without a good reason. This seems to me to be a good reason. So that's my analysis so far. And I'm, I'm laying my uh, analytical ability on the line here. Uh, and we'll see how much of it uh, turns out right. Frankly, I wish that everything I'm saying is wrong. But I wouldn't be putting it out if I didn't think it was completely wrong. OK. I'm Granny Opterix. I'm on YouTube, Rumble, Bitchute and Minds. Uh, please like, share and uh, check your subscription if you are subscribed on YouTube or subscribe if you aren't. Uh, keep checking those subscriptions. YouTube drops them. Uh, uh, sign up for Twitter, Gab or Parlor and follow me on at Granny Opterix because I always let you know when I've uploaded a video on those platforms. Um, please support my channel if you can. And uh, as I say, liking, sharing and subscribing supports my channel too, as well as money. All right, that's it. Uh, yep. Yeah. Till next time, if there is one. <laughs>